a desire for supremacy to be foremost. Today among us we have this problem, you realize that? Wanting to be the foremost speaker, the most listened to speaker, the most influential ministry perhaps, the ministry that everyone follows and sympathizes with and adheres to. And there are tactics to spread that. Does is, is this sound familiar to anyone or am I uh, off on a limo by myself here? I'm talking about issues in our household, right? Issues that develop, that cause alienation, that develop brethren and turn into enemies. Using these very same tactics. That's why these stories are so vital for us to understand and be able to discern. And the sad thing is, some people get so carried away with these things with one cause or another, not discerning the full story, and like these poor people who went with Absalom, they went in their simplicity not knowing anything. That's a very, very sad and real problem today. Some people have a desire to be heard, to be followed, to be respected, to be obeyed. And this desire is what motivated Lucifer on day one. This is a problem, not just uh, you know among people. This is a, this happens in the world. This happens in the church. This happens even in the, among those who stand up to speak. It's something to be mindful of. Just like Absalom wanted to reorganize the kingdom properly. Today we have people who want to. Organize the work according to what they believe it should be like. It shouldn't run this way. It should run this way, my way. And what ends up happening is many times these tactics are used to gain people's sympathies, to gain people's uh, allegiance to a cause that is greater than they understand or realize. A very serious thing. You understand what I'm talking about? There is, uh, to be open, to, be, to speak plainly, among us as a, as a household of faith, when it comes to the community of believers and the Father and the Son, there are a number of speakers and there are a number of ministries. And make no mistake about it, the issues that plague individuals plague the same individuals that are in this household of faith. And there is a certain vying for influence, control, and a setting up of the household according to one's own desires, whether it be individual or a ministry. These issues are happening among us. That's why I want to talk about it, because the tactics that are utilized, brothers and sisters, are tactics that are old, very old, that have been around for a very long time. So, you hear things today like, well, the current setup among us is a mess. It needs to be organized properly. And organized properly means according to what we think. And it seems like there are ministries, there are certain ministries, I'm hearing this more and more, that are vying for the position of being the most influential ministry or the ministry that sets up the kingdom according to what they believe it should be like. Very dangerous, beware. Can you discern the tactics that are being used? Absalom wanted to be in charge, and when he's in charge, everyone will be happy. Justice will be served. If everyone rallied to him and supported him as king, all will be well. If they didn't, woe unto them. That was Absalom's plan. It's very similar to many things that occur today. You see, to the people, Absalom's cause sounded like a good idea. To the angels, some of Lucifer's points made sense, sounded good, because they're only told part of the story. In like manner today, people hear things that sound good, not realizing fully that there might be a bigger picture and a bigger plan. Beware of these things.